Gabriel Carlsson is a left-handed defenseman for Linköping of the Swedish Hockey League. The big Swede measures in at 6 foot 4. He has a huge frame with a lot of room to fill out, but for now, he's fairly thin and lanky, weighing a humble 185 pounds. Carlson skates very well for his size, taking big strides to generate a burst of acceleration when necessary. He's fast and agile, displaying solid edge work in his skating. His reach, combined with that big stride, allow him to cover a lot of ground in the defensive zone. Something that can't be overstated for a defenseman. Carlson is not really creative from the back end. He prefers simple plays, but he's capable of the occasional backhand or stretch pass that hints at the fact that he might be scratching the surface of his puck moving ability. Offensively, he's at his best when he's confident with the puck. His puck skills are adequate, but improving them could work very well with his skating ability to transition the puck past the blue line. Carlson displays a very good understanding of the game. His positioning is sound and his decisions tend to avoid high-risk plays. He uses his skating to get out of trouble and his reach to control the gap and keep forwards at bay. While he is willing to use his body to shield off opponents with intensity, he is not imposing and he is not a heavy hitter either. Carlson's shot is not featured here because he mostly avoids using it and rather passes it off to the forwards hoping that they can create the offense. That kind of timid approach would be hindering if he doesn't try to get pucks to the net on a more regular basis. Carlson's production wherever he went is modest at best. In both under-18 tournaments, the Ivan Halinka and the World Junior U18, he had one point in 10 games in total. And in the under-20 Swedish Junior League, he posted only 7 points in 39 games, while getting plenty of ice time. However, the second half of the season saw him get called up to the big team in the top Swedish league after showing that he's ready to make the jump both physically and defensively.
This play here shows his skating, his stick checking, but above all, the hockey sense to recognize the situation before it gets out of hand. Here you can see Carlson shorthanded in a 5 on 3 situation. Just look at how he takes away the time and space from both guys on the power play and leaves him no choice but to keep passing it around. This play right here, Carlson steals the puck, gets around the defender, skates out of the zone, and passes it off to his teammate. That is exactly how he needs to play if he wants to be successful in the NHL. Carlson's production, wherever he went, is modest at best. In both under-18 tournaments, the Ivan Holinka and the World Junior U18, he had one point in 10 games in total. 
and in the under-20 Swedish Junior League, he posted only 7 points in 39 games, while getting plenty of ice time. However, the second half of the season saw him get called up to the big team in the top Swedish league after showing that he's ready to make the jump both physically and defensively. In the Swedish men's league playoffs, he played 10 games compared to the 7 he dressed for in the regular season. He played as the 7th defenseman in the start, but ended the playoffs with regular shifts on the bottom pairing. He really showed a lot more confidence joining the rush more often and making plays in the offensive zone, even if it didn't translate onto the score sheet. He takes advantage of the big European ice to have more time to think and more room to create plays offensively, so we would have to adjust quite a bit to the North American ice to think quicker and execute with little to no space to maneuver.
Carlson's potential has concerns regarding his ability to create offense. While he's not devoid of skill, there's a strong chance that his value to an NHL team will be a lot more in the defensive zone. On the other hand, I believe there's some untapped offensive potential in him. If he reaches it, he could be the perfect defensive partner to a fast puck mover, much like Chicago's Brent Seabrook is to Duncan Keith. Overall, Gabe is big, mobile, and smart, with potential for an all-around game. He will likely make the NHL because of those qualities. But how valuable he becomes really depends on his offense taking off and proving his worth at both ends of the ice. Regardless, coaches love that type of player, and so will scouts come the 2015 NHL Draft.